Hello everybody, welcome to today's topic. Why does C++ turn out to be a nightmare for beginner programmers? Uh, this video is for anyone who wants to uh, know more about C++ and who wants to get motivated and, and learn about the language itself. And it's for anyone uh, general knowledge for coding. Uh, before I continue, please watch this clip. And uh, I have created playlists already if you want to dig deeper into a particular topic for you. Also, I am enclosing inside the video's description box a link to my website, uh, which is from an old website, so a detailed list of everyday videos that I make, uh, that I have made, and uh, take the uh, viewing pleasure from there, because it's much easier. You can't show um, all the videos on, on the YouTube uh, platform, so I've created a website where you can see anything you like uh, at a click of a button. And I just want to say back in the day, uh, first of all, I just want to say that uh, back in the day, a total different universe was there. This is about 1998. There was no YouTube, there was no Google, there was no internet. All you had was a lousy textbook from the university and that too was very basic not an advanced uh, level that could give you all your answers for instance you came back from a C++ class and, and stared blank at your four room walls that was it so if you got stuck which happens several times while compiling a C++ program and uh, it happens every now and often. You know how anyone feels without getting any help. There was no workaround unless you knew Bill Gates, who happens to be your buddy, over the phone. Now, what are the chances of the average Joe knowing such kind of personality to give you answers? And you can ask him anything. I used to get stuck for days over silly syntax error, for example. And nowadays, it only takes a matter of minutes on searching Google for alternative solution. And that's it. If you have enough motivation, the pace of productivity is exponentially high. And, and via the internet. So that is the point. So use your internet, use Google, use YouTube to search your answers, and it's gonna get you go far, far away. So here's the big surprise. People whose favorite language is not C++ think C++ is a terrible language. Now, when I started out learning C++, that's exactly what I came to mind. It's so difficult and it's so big and it's so cumbersome and they were all the, like it's a, it's a mountain to climb. And that's what I was like worried before I learned the language. But as I learned it, it became easier, simple, and day by day I built on it. I want to summarize some of the co complaints about C++ and respond from the viewpoint of a person comfortable with C++. But first, let, let me say a word about why people like to use C++. C++ produces fast code for situations where fast code is important. If you don't need to go fast, try Python. So basically, Python is a little bit slower than C++. It's great, but still, it has its zillion libraries to do the hard stuff. Yeah, that's true. Python has a lot of libraries. And guess what? Those libraries are written in C++. Duh! <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Obviously, because C++ came out before Python. C++ lets you have performance when you need it, and fancy error checking when you want it. You don't get that in other languages. Complaints. Borland C++. Now, Borland, back in the day, was a really huge compiler for C++. In the 1980s, it was harder to begin using than interpreted BASIC. And now, many people are writing 
commercial applications today in interpreted they say and it's 2021 and in 2021 you can use any of the several online c++ compilers to learn c++ it's actually almost as simple as interpreted basic visual basic and basic was the language easier than c++ to learn no code to install no ide to learn just type it in the browser and when the last syntax error is fixed it runs automatically next point c++ has cryptic compile time error messages which is pretty good this is true if you're doing something advanced like partial template instantiation unfortunately the, this makes it true sometimes when you are instantiating one of the standard container classes or algorithms perhaps you would feel like c++ was better language if it didn't come with standard algorithms and containers you'd like c then or fortran okay these are like very old languages so we're not going to go there the error messages produced for most c++ errors are as readable as those for java or c sharp is that a recommendation i can't say another point for c++ doesn't produce good runtime error message really depends on whether you ask it or not so you have to tell the compiler to uh, produce runtime errors or not yes if you want the best speed you might use raw arrays and you get undefined behavior if you index an item outside and declare bounds of the array but you can also use standard colon colon vector and then the at function member function and get terrific error messages at some extra runtime cost java only gives you the choice to go slow another point c++ isn't mainstream anymore like java and c sharp are the TIOB index at the top 20 most popular languages plus C++ in fourth place right now between Java and C Sharp. Okay, so it's pretty up there in the Ivy League. C++ has added a lot of features in the last 10 years. This is either a strength or weakness depending as you want better solutions to your performance problem or well remembered workaround to weak old features even as a fan of c++ the last 10 years has been a roller coaster ride of new things to learn on balance though i can't think of a new feature i want to live without once i got used to using it java and c sharp have evolved significantly so basically you know c++ has had a lot of functions uh, in the past decade to uh, catch up with other languages which helps on productivity at any cost. Managing memory is hard. That's true. But garbage collection is slow. If slow doesn't matter, I suggest using another language like Python, maybe. So I've said that already. Another point, C++ requires a lot of boilerplate. That's only true if the defaults don't work for you. In Java, it just sucks if you use the default dollar because there is not another option once C again C++ offers a trade-off between fast and easy that other languages don't provide see so C++ is invaluable another point C++ has pointers which are really tricky this is one complaint that seems to have any validity if I were designing a language today, I wouldn't put pointers in, but C++ was designed by the, your grandparents, well, not your grandparents, as per se, people before you, when the compiler and the operating system had to fit into 120k bytes. Pointers are dumb compilers and produce smart code. Now, C++ is stuck with with them and they're not that hard so you just have to get around understanding c++ pointers i'm going to make a video about c++ pointers in the future and another lastly c++ has different syntax than fortran so it's confusing for a beginner who just learned fortran well um 
um, there are many other videos I've made about C++ if you want to know the importance of C++. And uh, as always, um, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. And if you want to see more of the videos, click the re red button. Ta-da from Shaz. Enjoy this video? Then must have a look at these videos.